guys, you're watching Kitty Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you a very simple DIY perler bead pencil holder that I'm actually going to be bringing back to university because I don't have anything to hold all of my pens and pencils. My desk is a mess because everything is scattered all over it. I don't know why I didn't bring a pencil holder to university, but now I have this thing that I just made very easily with five different perler bead pieces. I also used a bit of art cow beads and some mini beads. So it's very fun to design this and change up the theme to whatever you like. I sort of went for a retro classic games theme, if you can tell by all the iconic games here. And if you actually make one of these using a different theme, I would really love to see it. You can tag me at cutiecrafts on Twitter or Instagram. And let's get started with this tutorial. All you'll really need to make this pencil holder is the right outline of black beads and here is the first template that you can fill with whatever theme, just pause the video to copy it down. I chose Tetris to go with the classic video games theme and filled up around 3 quarters of the space with different colored Tetris pieces. I'll show you the ironing process after finishing all of the pieces and using the same black outline template, I designed a Pac-Man level using dark blue beads. Then I added some yellow beads as the dots that Pac-Man hasn't eaten yet and filled everything with black beads. Here's the second outline for the next two pieces and I decided to make this side a Game Boy Color. I've never actually played with a Game Boy Color because it was released the same year I was born. I'm turning 20 this year which is crazy, time is passing by way too quickly and the first console I ever knew about was the Game Boy Advance, which I'm not sure if you guys even know about now. Let me know what your first console was in the comments below, I'm curious to see how old you guys are. By the way, I used a few Art Cow colors for this design, so the shades are slightly different from Perler colors. I'll add the mini bead buttons later. And the last design I'm making is a Super Mario scene where he finishes the level and jumps onto the flagpole. The first video game I ever played was Mario Kart DS on my Nintendo DS Lite, and I actually have never played a Super Mario Bros. game except for, I guess, Super Mario Maker, which came with my Wii U. So Mario Kart has always been one of my favorite games along with all the Pokemon games that I have. Let me know what your favorite games are, maybe I'll try some of those out when I have time. Now to iron all these pieces, I'm going to use my plastic ironing paper to make them shiny, but of course you can use regular ironing paper too. I would recommend the masking tape method if you don't want to risk bending your board, but I usually don't have trouble when dealing with these smaller rectangular pieces and the boards usually turn out fine so I just iron directly on it. Once the beads are all fused and the pieces cooled down, it should look like this with a glossy look to it if you use plastic film. Then I simply did the same for all the other pieces and I should also mention that the heat setting I used was around 3 to 4 or the polyester setting on my iron. I messed up the time lapse for the bottom piece, but you can just copy this down by pausing the video. With our four side pieces ironed, it's time to make the mini bead components for the Game Boy and Pac-Man side. I made a control button and two circular button pieces for the Game Boy, and then two Pac-Man ghosts, and a Pac-Man that doesn't look the greatest, but will do for this project. I used regular clear glue to stick everything into place, but any type of glue works. I know the Pac-Man ghosts look a bit too big compared to Pac-Man, but that was the only thing that worked and is close enough, right? Then for the Game Boy Color, I forgot to show the two pieces that are just a line of three mini beads which go near the bottom of the other three buttons. Finally, all pieces are complete and you can take two different pieces, click them together and just complete the puzzle that will make your pencil holder. That is all there is to making a fuse bead pencil holder with whatever theme you decide to make it. The design and process is simple, but the outcome is very useful and also looks great. So try it out, show me how yours turns out, and enjoy your brand new pen, pencil, stationery in general, holder. I decided to make this project originally because my grandma always needs containers to hold her stuff and I decided to make this colorful animal heart container for her as a Christmas present. The video game one came after I realized I needed a pencil holder too and I just absolutely love both of them. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know which pencil holder is your favorite. Do you like the design that I gave my grandma with all of the animals and the colorful theme? Or are you more into this classic video game design? Let me know in the comments. And if you're new here, make sure you click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when I post. And I'll see you guys next time with another cutie craft. Bye.